Number seven, simplify the expression and identify the excluded values. So when I look in the numerator of the first fraction, I can factor out a 20x cubed, and I'd be left with 1x to the first plus 3. Let's make sure I did this correctly. 20x to the fourth plus 60x to the third. Good to go. In the denominator, I'm going to come off to the side. What multiplies to equal 6 combines to give you a negative 7. So I'm going to come up here. That'd be x minus 6 and x minus 1. Multiplies to equal 6 combines to give you negative 7. Don't forget to do bottoms up. So the first one simplifies to negative 3. The second one, the 2 pushes up to 2x minus 1. Turn division into multiplying. Put a line down and we're going to flip it. So the 2x minus 1 on the bottom now goes up to the top. In the top, I can factor out a 5 and an x. What goes inside the parentheses? So 5 times, I need an x squared, so I attach an additional x. And 5 times 3 is 15. There's 15x. Anything on top may be canceled with anything in the bottom. Here's an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. A 2x minus 1 and a 2x minus 1. Now you have three x's here and one on the bottom. So think of it as three x's on top and one on the bottom. When you cancel, you're left with two on top. So really this cancels and this turns into a two. The 20 and the five can reduce. Five goes into itself once. Five goes into 24 times. So a final answer is four x squared times one times one over x minus 3 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Excluded value, what makes the denominator equal to 0, is positive 3.